There are two easy ways to increase sales from your website. In this episode of Marketing Tune-Up, we're going to show you what those are and how to start implementing them on your site. In the last episode of Marketing Tune-Up, we talked about the home base and the outposts. The home base, your website, is at the center of everything you do. But how do you make that home base convert people from just looking to actually becoming a lead and ultimately becoming a sale? That's what we want to talk about today. So when we look at our home base, we think about it as a traditional sales funnel. We have prospects, people who know you exist. They might hear your radio ad, they might come to your website, they might uh, see your car at a sporting event. We have leads, people who have filled out some kind of information, given you a name or told you what car they're interested in. And ultimately sales, people who have either serviced their vehicle or bought a vehicle from you. Now the only goal of our website should be moving people down the sales funnel. We have all these people coming in the top, these prospects, they might come from ads, social media, um, you know, email, all of our outposts. But then what we want to measure is how many of those prospects are turning into leads. In other words, what's our conversion rate? So let's just take a little example. Let's say that we have 1,000 people coming to our website. If 100 of them fill out a form, you can do the math in your head. What's our conversion rate, kids? That's right, 10%. So how about if one of those people end up buying a car? You can see that we have a 10% conversion from, from lead to sale, and we have a 10% conversion from prospect to lead. Now there's two ways that we can increase sales on this website. We can either throw more people in the top, or we can increase the conversion between each step. So if we're not doing much on social media or email or ads, the easiest step might be to increase that number on top. Maybe instead of 1,000, it becomes 10,000. Then you can see that we now have 1,000 leads and 10 sales. That's not bad. We increased 10x number of sales. But if we can't drive more people to the site, if we're already getting lots of traffic, we can just increase the conversion rate. So what might we do? We might create a button, for example, when people are searching for a vehicle that they can tell us what they're looking for. Now we have that name in our system and we can start talking to them. Maybe when people service their vehicle, we take their uh, phone number and we send them text messages so we have more people into our lead system. Or we might make the buttons fewer on the homepage so there's a clear call to action, one way for them to give us their information. If we can increase this conversion rate even a couple percentage points, you're going to see big conversions on the bottom of the sales funnel. So when you're looking at your website, two things you want to think about. How can we throw more people in the top through our outposts? And how can we make that website do one simple thing? get people to give us their contact information. Very rarely are people going to make a sale on Facebook or email or social media. We need to get them to our website where they learn about us, where they fill out information, and we can know who they are. Once we know who that person is, you can do what you do best, which is sell cars. In just two minutes a week, you can save time, save money, and sell more cars with the marketing tune-up. Subscribe on our website to get started today.